airbrush hobby will be for um, illustrations and designs but I think a lot of this applies for um, um, other airbrush if you're model making or um, or wanting to spray spray um, smaller scale um, projects um, also for um, t-shirts etc if you're getting into bigger objects and going down into um, really spraying cars and you know motorcycles and things like that um, then I think you, you need bigger compressors and different guns and you have to think about um, what paints you're going to be using and um, uh, one thing uh, that I didn't mention in my uh, last in my part one was when I was talking about the airbrush uh, is the needle size now um, uh, if you watch part one, you will know I bought a dual action um, uh, Harder and Steinbeck um, Ultra, which is their um, lowest model, sort of beginner model of airbrush. It is all made of metal, uh, there's no plastic parts in it, um, apart from a rubber o ring, I think, and some something else on the inside. Uh, anyway, but basically, it's metal gun, um, good quality, well made. Uh, but I bought the, this one with a two, a 0 0.2 millimetre needle, and that's for fine work. Um, I thought that would suit me as a starter, um, because I'm wanting to be doing more detailed work. Uh, it also means that you can, um, uh, you you have to use the thinner paint for it to be able to get through such a smaller nozzle. Um, but it also means that you can work. Um, with a lower PSI, you know, pressure from your con uh, from the compressor, air pressure, so that uh, you can get uh, much more fine detailed work. Um, uh, this one, however, does have the option that you can buy a sec second uh, needle set, which is a 0 0.4 millimeter. So uh, that's another reason why I bought this one because I thought, well, if I find this is actually too small for me, um, I can uh, get the bigger size. Um, if I want to and also just generally if I find I'm wanting to use uh, thick paint which will um, for getting different effects um, I'll need a, a, a bigger nozzle a bigger needle and bigger nozzle um, to, to let that paint come through and work at higher um, PSI's air pressure so that uh, I can get uh, different effects and it means that I don't have to buy a whole new pen I can buy the needle set on having said that the needle set is not that cheap but uh, anyway, it gives me the options. So I'm starting with a, a finer needle. Um, I think some airbrushes um, come uh, with a um, uh, more of a set needle size. I don't know if you've got always got options to change the needle size. Um, and uh, it seems that uh, what's very popular is the 0 0.35 millimeter or 0 0.3 millimeter. Um, anyway. I chose this one, which is the 2mm, 0.2mm um, needle size for fine work, uh, with the option that I can buy the 0 0.4 for, um, um, you know, uh, bigger bigger uh, projects and uh, if I want to spray bigger areas and also if I want to use the uh, paint with more viscosity, which needs a bigger aperture. So um, I think that covers the needle size. Uh, uh, again, it's up to you, but um, uh, you know, uh, depending on what you're going to be doing, but um, you, you know, you better you, you can look at, at the, there's people with better uh, expertise out there to decide which one you opt for in the beginning. Um, yes, the next thing that I was going to talk about uh, is which leads me on to the paint. Now, uh, with this uh, uh, kit that I bought, I already talked in part one about the compressor with the air tank um, and uh, its all its safety um, uh, uh, parts. I talked about the airbrush um, and uh, and um, a reference book. Um, this one I'm talking about the paints. Now I got a it's a it's a pack of uh, nine different colours. It includes black and um, an opaque white. The other paints um, are transparent um, but they, they have the uh, primary colours um, plus a, a few other so there's pretty much you can pretty much uh, mix paints as you like from this. It's, it's a good uh, place to start. Um, these are um, Aero Colour Professional by uh, Smink and um, uh, 
these come uh, sort of ready mixed to be used. You don't have to dilute these at all. Some paints you do have to dilute them before you can before they're thin enough to use. And especially as I mentioned before with the needle, you've got to be a bit more careful which paints you choose um, if you've got a smaller needle. Um, this uh, this one in particular has a has its own um, a pipette at the top, so it's got a rubber top, and you pull that out, and you can dispense it per drop. There you go. Um, and um, with that, you can you can put that straight into your cup. Um, you do actually have to shake these before you use them. Um, apparently, the consistency that you're looking for is the consistency of of milk. Now, um, these can um, be uh, reduced or thinned. Uh, the um, every paint um, manufacturer will have its own um, reducer and also its own uh, cleaning agent. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but it'll have its own reducer. Um, obviously. Preferably use the one that they provide for their paint because it will be more suitable. And the reducers uh, uh, will keep the quality of the paint and more importantly you can dilute the, this one in particular unlimited amounts which means you can get very very thin paint and it doesn't lose its ability to um, uh, bind to the um, surface that you're spraying onto. Now you can also dilute this with the distilled water. Um, uh, you could actually just use ordinary water, but uh, tap water, but that has minerals and things in it, and these days there can also be other chemicals in it for cleaning processes, um, which uh, you don't particularly want and could affect the paint. So preferably go for distilled water, and that you can you can uh, reduce these up to twenty percent with distilled water. Just uh, you know, if you find that you just want it a little bit thinner, um, and. Um, with this, uh, uh, another tip I was told that if you put too much paint in your um, uh, airbrush and rather than just um, dumping it away and losing it if you like, you can use your um, pipette to, uh, to s suck up what it is and put it, back in your, put it back in your bottle. So that's good. You can, um, you can also use, obviously you use the pipettes with the drops um, for mixing, so you know, if you're mixing um, four drops of paint to one drop of distilled water, for example, um, or if you're mixing colours, like you've got uh, three drops of yellow and one drop of blue to create green, um, uh, there are different options. You can uh, buy empty uh, bottles, the, these come uh, a set of nine of these with its pipettes, and you can mix your, your paints in those. I have also Excuse me a minute. Um, just bought these little bottles from an art shop uh, for mixing paints in, uh, nice and cheap. Uh, you can um, mix them in there if you want and keep them. But of course, you don't have a pet. Um, this kit that I bought um, came, as I said, I got these paints, and then uh, this is the cleaning agent. Again, it's by Mink, um, so it's the cleaning agent for these paints so that uh, to make sure you get a nice clean uh, airbrush at the end of the day. Now um, apparently you can use um, water, preferably distilled water I presume, to clean your brush out in between colours etc uh, etc et um, and then to get rid of the main uh, bulk of your um, uh, uh, paints from your airbrush uh, but then to finish off with this um, to make sure it's nice and clean. So this is your, that's your cleaning agent. Um, there are different kinds of paints uh, out there that you can buy. I'm not going to ma mention them all, and I'm, I'm no expert on this. Again, you're going to have to do more research yourself, from depending on what you want to um, be painting or airbrushing. Uh, Createx is a is a make. Um, um, Media uh, Com Art is a make. There's a, a line called Wicked Colors. I think I think they um, do need to be um, re reduced. To, to be used, especially for a fine detail. Um, again, going back to the needles, the smaller the needle, the thinner the paint, but the lower PSI, so air pressure needed, so you can really get more control and detailed work. Um, the thicker paint will need a, a, a bigger needle and a bit bigger nozzle to allow the paint up. The smaller one will get clogged, it's as simple as that. So you want a bigger, bigger needle and you'll have work at uh, higher air pressure, so higher PSI. 
but of course you can you can create um, cover more surface with that. And um, the other thing that um, came with this kit, connected with the cleaning, is this uh, three-in-one cleaner bottle. Now I bought this because it's um, very very easy, sits on top of your desk, and it means that when again you're in between colours, you want to change your colour, you want to clean your your brush out, you can squeeze it. You can squirt it directly into this uh, bottle. There's some water in there just to um, make it easier to clean. So you're spraying it onto to water. Clean it out, uh, put water through to clean your brush out, spray directly into there. And you're not having to get up and go anywhere else to clean your brush in between. Um, it also um, has um, a, a filter in the top here. There's a hole here which allows uh, obviously evaporation and pressure to come out but uh, the filter will keep the uh, paint in. It's just a very very small filter and this came with um, three spare ones so that I can change what those when they get full. This is also uh, an extra attachment that came with it and it's actually an, the, uh, a holder that you can put in. Um, uh, it also um, came with a, this cap to keep it on overnight, just to keep it clean and protect it. And on the inside of the cap, you can see there's uh, three sections. You can mix paint in there if you want. And it came with a pipette. So if you mix your paint in here, you can uh, use this to put the droplets in your of paint into your airbrush. Or of course, you can use this for uh, for anything you like. For, for, uh, uh, here we go. Put this back in here. That's me holder. So that very nicely allows me to uh, sit the airbrush on there without having to um, buy a, a, a specific airbrush holder. So again, this is this is what is included in my kit. I think I've pretty much covered everything that's included in my kit now. I've got the compressor, I've got the paints, I've got the um, the cleaning agent, I've got the, the, the three-in-one bottle, the airbrush, the hose of course, you want the air hose, three meter long air hose, um, and um, and that's pretty much it. So that's the basics uh, you need to be able to start airbrushing. These, of course, um, if I haven't mentioned it already, they are acrylic uh, and therefore water-based paints. I specifically wanted water-based paints because I'm not working in a particularly well-ventilated area. There's nothing I can do about that at the moment. But um, um, w when I'm working, I will be... Um, there is a... My kitchen is just behind here. Um, with the door open and uh, I've got an extractor in there so I'll be putting that on and um, I will be using uh, just an, ord an ordinary um, floor fan which will be pointing um, and blowing towards the kitchen door so therefore we'll be sucking air from the back in here through there and then uh, hopefully it will be going out through the extractor fan. I can of course open the windows in my uh, kitchen but that's right next door but again no no windows in here so it's not um, it's not actually ideal for a ventilated area so no solvents at all don't want any toxic uh, toxic in the um, gases in the air um, and um, make sure that everything is uh, is uh, as well ventilated as possible and uh, using obviously acrylic paints um, is, um, is, is a much better option, water-based, no solvents involved. Um, I think that uh, uh, um, will do for now, uh, and this is my uh, second video. I'll um, hopefully be uh, making my third one very shortly, and um, passing on a few more tips and tricks, and these will be um, other, other uh, articles, other uh, bits, and bobs that, uh, that paper, for example, rulers, knives, film, uh, etc., for making stencils. Um, and I'll be talking about that in my third video. So, anyway, once again, hope I haven't bored you, and um, see you soon. Bye.